Well, it was begun in 1927, so now it's been going for 86 years. This is the pitch drop experiment, and while it mightn't look like much, it is in fact the longest running laboratory experiment in the world. And it demonstrates that pitch, which is a tar-like substance, can shatter like a solid, but also drip like a liquid. Ultimately, because of our human limitations, so far, nobody has ever actually seen a pitch drop fall. In 1988, the professor went out for a coffee at Expo 88 and came back to find a drop had fallen. In fact, for the most recent drip, in November 2000, there was even a video camera trained on the experiment that something went wrong with the camera and they missed it. So, once again, I was disappointed, but I thought, well, there's always the next time. There have been tributes for the custodian of the world's longest-running laboratory experiment. It's rather frustrating because I'd like to be the first person to see the drop actually fall. He never would. Professor Mainstone died last Friday after suffering a stroke. We were shocked and saddened to hear about John's passing. He was really looking forward to seeing the ninth drop fall, and he was really looking forward to seeing the reaction from the public about the ninthwatch.com. I believe it will be possible for them to be part of history because they were the ones who were actually logged in when a very dramatic thing has happened, namely the decision has been made by the pitch that it's going to let that drop go. A few weeks ago, we launched the ninthwatch.com. This is so that people can log in and watch the ninth pitch drop. It's dedicated to Professor Mainstone. The ninthwatch.com website registers the time zone they're in and when they're watching. So when the drop falls, we'll know who's logged in and where they were. Their names will be added to the official record, so it's their shot at immortality. One of the benefits of the site is that people can choose to get information from the University of Queensland about general science that's going on here and details about whether they want to study here. Watching the watches has become a pastime on campus with people posing for the camera and so far we've only had one reported troll. Sportsbet apparently even put odds on it. Not that the university encourages that sort of thing. So far, people from 138 countries have tuned in and watched over 58,000 hours. On average, watchers have spent half a day on the site with the top watcher already logging 491 hours. I think Professor Manstone would be tickled pink that it's gone from one person constantly missing it to dozens or maybe even hundreds of people being able to see it. I think he'd love that.